All right, everybody, welcome back. As you can see, I am not in the deserts of Arizona right now. And today we have an amazing video in store. We're gonna be using the underwater camera for leopard sharks. There is a bunch of them that live in here. There's also some stingrays and stuff that we could possibly see down there as well. Hopefully everything comes out all right. You guys know how that goes. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully you'll be seeing something pretty soon here. For bait, we have a few different options. We have some squid and mackerel. Mackerel always seems to be the best though. So we're going to put some of that on. We're going to go with some, not some shrimp chips, but some juicy, juicy mackerel first. I am not sure how this is going to go, guys. We're going to find out. Excited for this one, guys. I've been waiting to do this a long time as well. So we have the Go Fish Cam. We have some foam taped onto it. This is actually a pool noodle. We have 30 pound main line. We have a three ounce weight. And then we have a juicy, juicy piece of mackerel tied on there. We don't know if they're here or not. We're about to find out pretty quick, so. All right, guys, here we go. I am so excited for this one. Shout out to all you guys that are in the premiere right now. Let's get it. All right, getting down there, I was so happy to see that this footage came out. Here in this first spot, we're gonna see a lot of bait fish, a lot of crabs. See them down there. Those are mud suckers, the goby looking things. And then these are jack smelt right here, all over the west coast. Pretty common bait fish. And we'll have the, uh, the rock crab grabbing our bait, of course. <laughs> but all in all, I realized that my bait was getting stolen a lot down here and I knew it was crabs, I knew it was bait fish. Um, so I was constantly changing baits. My dad was over here to the right poke pole and catching eels the whole time. But I get back in there, same result. Here, the, this time we have a school of shiner perch as well as mud suckers. <laughs> See them all down there pecking my bait. But I knew after seeing that my bait was getting pecked off every time that it was time for a change so we decided to move spots all right guys we are at our third and final spot there's actually a shark swimming right out here uh, in front of us we can kind of see him this water is extremely shallow and uh we're about to get baits in the water and see if we can catch them i'm not sure how the camera is going to do here i'm going to need to modify some things but i'm going to get my first rod in the water right now All right, you guys already know our bait. You already know our method. Watch how long this sinks. Boom, we're on the bottom almost instantly there. This is a very shallow lagoon, maybe five feet at its deepest point. And we got our bait sitting here. And of course, we get bit by a crab first. <laughs> you can see the water is really clear though. I was really happy to see that. But I just fast forward this here. You're gonna see a little bit of bait fish. And it kind of took some time for these sharks to get warmed up. But once they started moving in, it was just game on. Boom, we'll see our first shark here. Got my bait in his mouth. Look at the colors on that fish. He's kind of just like messing with the bait here. I did not see this bite on my rod. Uh, just being kind of finicky. Meanwhile, on my other rod, I am checking my bait and this is what I see. <laughs> that is our first one of the day. There he is, little baby, baby leopard shark. All right, we quickly let that fish go. We get back into the water. And meanwhile, on the camera rod, we're still getting some action. Kind of takes a few bites at the bait there. These are the top predators in this area, guys, so nobody messes with them except seals. Here we're checking our bait and we see one on the way in. He's going to the right. Jeez. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to rig up the other camera. 
and this rod just starts screaming. Here we go. Let's see how big he is, guys. Yeah, at least. Probably a little bigger. All right, here we go, guys. We're breaking in the sumo chopstick. Shout out to Tony. My man, I told you I'd break it in on the fish. Nice and dark. I think that's a small keeper right there. Oh, this nice, nice leopard shark right here. Look at that. Destroyed the mackerel, not on the camera rod, unfortunately, but we are gonna get that back out in the water. Let's let her go, here we go. All right, dad just got an absolute giant right here. Nothing but monsters. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that thing. Beautiful oh, colors wow. though. Yeah, looks nice. All right, let's release him back into the wild. <laughs> Yeah, that's a shark, baby. That's a shark. Here we go. Hooked up. Look at that. I say he's keeper size. It's almost like the exact same fish that I just caught. Looks like maybe a male. I can't tell. No. No, it's another small female, I think. Heck yeah. I got him. Oh my God, guys. I haven't even set up the camera again. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Oh yeah. All right, we got him. Oh, I see him out there. Guys, I don't have a battery right now on my GoPro. It's not a good sign. Oh, did I lose him? Oh, can't win them all. After we lose that fish, meanwhile on the bottom, we get covered with a piece of seaweed here, unfortunately, but it did not stop this shark from biting our bait. Look at that, just picks it up and runs with it. Unfortunately, we do miss that one though. Guys, there's just so much going on right now. We cannot keep up. It's a good sign though. Fish are in. They're not always here, but when they are, you gotta stay on them as long as you can. Just got in. Just hit the water. Are we getting him on the underwater camera, guys? Same, same size ish. Those skinnier ones. And right after catching this fish, this rod decides to go down. See this guy come in from the right here, just picks it up and bolts with it. Oh, camera, camera. Got him, got him on the camera rod, guys. Oh, no way, again. We keep losing them on the camera rod. Jesus. See, that's the hard part is they don't always get hooked. Got the hook out. Freaking out. Well, there we go, guys. We are still on them. There we go. Second one actually landed. We're hooking them left and right. Let's get them back in the water. All right, at this point, we're losing fish. We're catching fish. It is mass chaos. I am so determined to get one at this point. So we get right back in there. And we'll see our bait to the right. Slowly gets picked up. Look at the bait hanging out of his mouth. Boom, just starts peeling. <laughs> Camera rod. Yeah. Got him that time. Guys, we need to be so careful. Stay on. Shark on the camera rod. Oh my goodness. You stay on. You stay on. 
Yes! Shark on the camera rod, baby! <laughs> Let's go! We have finally done it. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Well, while he's messing with his, let's get ours unhooked here. As far as I know, this is the first leopard shark ever caught on the Go Fish Cam. There he is. What a beautiful fish. Dad's got another one on. So we're going to go see what he's doing. Yeah. Jeez. Wow, guys. <laughs> Wow. All right, guys, unfortunately, during this fight, my GoPro turned off. It was malfunctioning all day, so I did lose a bunch of catches that I could have put on here. Uh, me and Dad both, but this fight was epic. It was an epic back and forth, peeling line, taking line. We got it to turn on a little bit, but not too much. Here. Oh. All right, guys, let me show you this shark. That is more what we were looking for right there. This is a nice, big leopard shark. It is a female, and they come in here to spawn and feed and... Woo! Woo! All right. All right, we let that fish go, and once again, we are back in the water. I was trying to keep the camera out in there as much as possible. Here from the right again. They loved coming from the right. Boom, picks it up. You see those little jaws open and just starts peeling, peeling and drops it. It was kind of a hit and miss bite. Sometimes they would pick it up and really take it. Sometimes they would just drop it. Here again from the right. Picks it up, drops it, not really sure. Picks it up again. Man, look at the tail on that fish though. Beautiful colors. You guys can kind of see the bait back there. Comes back again, kind of just messing with it. Not really too sure what he wants to do with it. Again, kind of denies it. I'm not sure why on this cast they were kind of just denying it, but I think eventually we do get a taker. They can be finicky sometimes. Here we go. We get a taker and he drops it. <laughs> this one though, no hesitation. Picks it up and it's just gone. Guys, we got another one. Our camera died, unfortunately. But our camera rod, we got them on here. Killing them. We do end up landing that fish. My GoPro was malfunctioning though, but that was a second one landed on the Go Fish Cam. After that, we did get right back in and we already are seeing <laughs> baby jaws down here. Think he's a great white picking up the bait and just shaking it in his mouth. <laughs> they still got some great colors, even when they're babies though, guys. Well, bait fish gets spooked there. <laughs> guys, I've been fishing this spot since I was 12 years old. So it's so cool to see it finally, you know, 13 years later after fishing it for all those years. Seeing some big ones, seeing some small ones. 
watching these fish cruise around down there. There he goes again, thinks he's Jaws. All right, guys, we got the camera back up and running. It has been a heck of a day so far. We are destroying these sharks. We're losing them, we're catching them, but the bite is just on fire. We're gonna keep catching as long as we can. Jesus. Jeez, guys. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Don't get none of this in Arizona. <laughs> Next time, guys, we're bringing in a, a reel that can pick up more line. This rod is doing pretty good though. We got a nice one right here. Oh, yeah. Another nice one. There we go. That's a... <laughs> Look at that fish and look at my fish. God, that's a long fish. Ugh. There he is. Another. Ooh. Very nice leopard shark. This one is a male, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. You are allowed three a day, but uh, I think this one will be just fine for me. Heck of a fight on these fish, guys. After releasing that big shark there, we get back in with a piece of squid this time, and we see our first stingray right here just kind of cruises in sits and buries himself in the sand and doesn't move that's the only one we see down there we'll have no hesitation with this shark comes up slurp just starts going some of them are darker than others it's kind of cool to see the pattern difference once again we got baby jaws invading us <laughs> thinks he's a great white When we check our bait, we get back in there as fast as we can. I'll show you guys how far it sinks again. Bloop, we're already on the bottom. Here, the bait was stuck on the top of the camera, uh, which kind of sucks, you can't see the bait. It did not stop the shark from biting though. Here you could actually hear me tighten up on them and boom, fish on, fish on. All these fish are swimming towards the shore after we hooked them too. Yeah, he came right for the shore. Another one on the camera rod, guys. Oh, chaos today. Thing burned it. Hopefully we can get a few more. If not, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope everything came out all right for you down there. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in